so if you caught the last video, um, we did a out of spec 10% challenge uh, where you charge for 15 minutes at a DC fast charger and then see how far you can go at 80 miles an hour. And when I finished that test, I got back to the charger around 9% or so. And I was thinking, well, maybe this is a good time to go all the way to zero and then do a charging test just to see uh, kind of where we're at. Okay, we're at 2%, only two miles of range. And the Mach-E still has got good pickup, even uh, at 2% state of charge. Um, we're just kind of looping around, staying close to the charger here. Still at 2%. Have to admit, I'm a little nervous. I've never done this before. Um, the lowest I've gone is probably 6 7%. And I, I was just sitting right next to the outlet in my garage, just kind of let the heat run for a little bit. Um, so I think once we hit 1%, we'll turn in the parking lot. I can see the chargers, so it's not like we're you know, in the middle of nowhere, but I uh, definitely don't want to run out in the middle of the street. <laughs> okay, we're back at 1%. Definitely going to pull into the parking lot now. Um, very, very close. Okay, we are at 1%. We are sitting right next to the charger, so uh, we will not get stranded, assuming the charger works. Um, you know, since we got off the interstate, we kind of been taking back roads and stuff, so... You know, we're up to 69 and a half miles. That's another 14 miles or so, you know, kind of past 10%. But that's how it's slower speeds. You know, we were going between 35 and 55. Um, but and running the heat and some weird stuff. So, um, you know, I think it's pretty safe once you hit 10%. Um, if, if you get to a charger within 10 miles, you should be okay. And um, you can probably make it 15 miles. So, um, yeah, we're going to crank up the heat a little bit here um, to kind of use up this last little bit. Okay, so we are at 0%. Uh, gonna plug in now and uh, we'll see how long it takes to charge this thing up. Okay, we just plugged in. Connecting the vehicle. Okay, here we go. That handshake time was a lot faster. That was about 20 seconds or so. Um, so we'll see what kind of speeds we get. We're at 0% state of charge. Okay. Welcome. Continue. Okay, so 0%. We're doing 98 100 kilowatts. Fans are ramping up on the car. 103. Jump from 0 to 2% there pretty quick. 105, 106. And uh, yeah, these are about the fastest speeds I would expect. Um, 115 is, is the rated peak on the car, so you know, at a slightly lower temperature, it's in the low 90s out here. Um, you know, you might get just a tick more, but uh, yeah, this is looking good. Okay, we're down into the 80, 80s now, 7%, four kilowatt hours to live in. percent a little over a half hour uh, 44.8 kilowatt hours delivered still doing about 67 kilowatts okay we're back we're at 75 percent now 39 minutes 51.6 kilowatt hours delivered and still doing 67 kilowatts not too bad One other note is this test is actually, I had to do it in two parts. So I go zero to 91%, 1% to 
Um, I was blocking the charger. There weren't any other chargers available. And the location I was, it was kind of in the middle of nowhere and is really the only DC charging option around, even for Tesla. Uh, so I moved and it's a different day. Um, so we're back at uh, another DC fast charger here. And so we'll do the the 90 to 100% here. And that should be fine since, you know, we've already ramped down. So, um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna see kind of what happens, where is the taper? You know, we ended at about 35 kilowatts or so um, when we were in the low 90s there. So we can see at what point does it start to dip down even further than that. Um, and generally you're gonna be charging, you know, probably 10 to 20% up to, you know, 80, 85%. And I say above 80% because with the standard range battery, there are cases where, I mean, even the extended range battery, but there are cases where you're gonna wanna get a few extra miles in there to make that next charging stop. So is the fourth time the charm? We are about to find out. I will give you the rundown here in a moment, but we are trying to finish the 90 to 100 percent portion of this charge and uh, hopefully this will be a, a good representation of that so plugged in here uh, with the Mach-E things are clicking relays in the car and the charger are going and uh, ID4 was just charging on this so it should be working get so far no fan noise that's interesting Wonder if the fans are broken because this is like some black discoloration going on there now it's not gonna have to ramp super high since we're at a pretty high percent state of charge but I pretty much I've always heard the fans come on that's pretty interesting okay so here we are at 90 percent doing 33 kilowatts I think that's the best we're going to be able to do at this station. I don't expect that to be any higher. Um, so I think that's totally fine. Um, so we'll uh, let this run to 100% and uh, see where we end up. I think this whole charging experience is, is really a Electrify America in a nutshell, uh, at least in my experience with the Mach-E. I have always been able to charge at one of the stations eventually. Um, now, I don't always get the best speeds. You know, in this case, pretty confidence because we're at 90%. So, you know, that that's no worries. Uh, but this station here with the Chadmo connector, I have charged on this in the past, but the past two times I've tried, um, the, the payment doesn't work. Plug and charge doesn't work. And then, you know, this is saying cash only, which I don't even know how you're supposed to do that. Um, if I if I was an Electrify America member, I could try activating the charger that way, but I'm not, and I don't really want to spend the money just just uh, to try that one time. Um, you know, this charger is working fine. There's no fans running though, which is kind of weird. Um, cable feels okay. Um, charging speed seems okay based on our state of charge, uh, but they have derated some of these ch chargers um, to only 35 kilowatts um, when they should be 150 or 350. Um, this charger um, was working fine, but I was getting uh, the 32, 33 kilowatts and I wanted to make sure it wasn't the charger. Again, we're at 90%, so I think that that seems pretty normal. And then this one, it said it was available. And then when I plugged in it, oh, okay. Now it says available again. Well, uh, it went unavailable. It, you heard the fans kick on and then it faulted and then both plugs said unavailable. So if there's only one or two people here, I think there's, not 100%, but pretty close, pretty good chance that you're gonna be able to charge. But if there's a line or all the stations are in use, um, you know, you might, you might have a problem um, or you might be waiting a while. Okay, so we're back in the car here. We're at 93%. Um, the charger was saying um, 34 kilowatts and I just turned the car back on. Um, 
got the AC on. Um, we'll kick this up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so we're at 35 kilowatts and uh, that, that seems pretty good representation. You know, the other charger over there, the one I was concerned was, was derating. Um, I think the max I was seeing there was 33 or 34 kilowatts. So, um, you know, I, I, I believe we are getting the max speed we could get here, you know, at this state of charge. Usually we would be in the 80s or 90 kilowatts um, if we were at a lower state of charge for this car. So, um, yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Um, and I'll give you another update when we start to ramp down. Okay, so we just hit 94% and the charging speed did dip down. So now we're at 27 kilowatts. Okay, we just dipped again. We went from 27 kilowatts down to 22. Okay, we're at 96% and now we're at 17 kilowatts. Um, we were at 22 kilowatts all the way through 95%. Um, so we're continuing to taper down here. Okay, another update just dropped from 17 to 14 kilowatts. Okay, 97%, we went from 14 kilowatts down to 11 kilowatts, so more tapering. 98%, still doing 11 kilowatts. Uh, we're getting close. Okay, we just hit nine kilowatts now. Down to seven kilowatts now. 99%, still at seven kilowatts. But man, you can see how long this has taken. We plugged in at 89%. And uh, it's taken 21 minutes to add 10%. So, yeah, definitely don't recommend uh, charging this high, really, ever. Uh, but especially if you're on some kind of road trip or something, this is not worth your time. All right, down to 6 kilowatts. And keep in mind, the, you know, the car is on. So the AC is running, the headlights are on. So it's probably using 1 to 2 kilowatts of that. So there's probably only about, you know, four-ish kilowatts actually going into the battery at this point. Okay, so we finished at 100%. Uh, it took 33 minutes to go from 89 to 100%. Um, we added another eight kilowatts. Um, you know, I missed the last 10 seconds there, but we were doing four kilowatts. Um, the car was probably using one to two of those, so roughly two kilowatts going into the battery. So here's the whole charging profile. Um, you've got time in minutes along the bottom, and then um, on the y-axis you've got your charging speed in kilowatts, um, energy delivered in the gray there in kilowatt hours, 70 kilowatt hour battery in the standard range Mustang Mach-E, and then the state of charge uh, battery percentage that's indicated on the charger and the display in the car. What's really striking about this graph is about half of it um, is spent getting 0 to 80 percent and then the other half of it is spent getting from 80 to 100 percent. So obviously uh, there's a huge ramp down there to help protect the battery and you know your time's going to be best spent charging in that 0 to 80 percent range. So adding some lines here to the screen just to break it up a little bit more um, you can see after 15 minutes you know that's really our max charging speeds um, the most energy going into the battery. Um, and then to get to 80%, it took about 43 minutes. And then you can see there's that big ramp down in charging speed. Um, and then a, the, the next ramp down there, just after an hour, that's around 92% state of charge. So if your only option uh, to get to the next charger, um, if you're charger hopping with the standard range battery size, um, sitting at that 35 kilowatts, uh, to be able to, to make the next charger. It's obviously not a terrible deal. It'd be nice if it was a little faster there, but it's at least tolerable. I definitely don't recommend charging beyond that uh, just to protect the battery, but also um, it takes so long. It's almost another half hour to go from 91% or so all the way up to 100%. So um, hope this helps visualize it and break it down. Um, and we'll have to monitor this over time as Ford makes updates. You know, I, I took this data here um, in the last month or so here in 2023, and this is a 2022 model. Um, so we'll just have to see how they revise it over time, if at all. 
Uh, one other note, um, if you've been following the channel lately, you've noticed there's a couple other videos on there uh, that don't talk about electric cars or the Mach-E. Um, and so, you know, I love cars. I love all kinds of cars, EVs, internal combustion. Um, if Jay Leno wants to show me a steam car someday, that would be super cool. Um, but yeah, I just love cars. Um, EVs have gotten a lot more exciting and interesting, you know, kind of in the last five-ish years or so. Um, you know, I love my Mach-E. You're going to see lots of Mach-E videos. That's primarily what I'm going to make content about. Um, but I love all cars, so you will occasionally see some other types of videos out there. Um, hopefully it brings more people to the channel and I can keep doing uh, more videos, uh, better quality videos. Um, if, if you like that type of content, hope you, hopefully you enjoy it. And if you don't, that's okay. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep posting Mach-E videos. Um, so just FYI on that. So thanks for joining today's video and we'll see you next time.